Hello. How's it going? I hope everyone here is having an amazing, amazing day. Um, as you can see, I'm early today, and also I've forgotten to set up the bear. God damn it! I had one job. Give me a moment. The bear has to be there. There we go. The bear is there. Oh my god. Anyways, hello. How's it going? <laughs> um. Yeah. I'm. I'm early today. Hi, Mel. How you doing? Um. Yeah. I'm early today because on Saturday um, I won't be able to stream and that means we miss out on our Sims 2 fix for the week so I decided I would do an earlier stream today and we'd play a bit of Sims 2 before we get to our usual rough stream at 4 o'clock New Zealand Standard Time. Good, how you doing? I'm okay. I'm okay. Pretty um, all right and stuff. Yeah, very uh, I'm very sleepy today. Got like barely any sleep last night, but it's okay. Um, I guess I better get into it considering I have about two hours and ten minutes to get through this family and then we'll go into raft because I want to make sure everything's on time because <laughs> um, I don't want to leave Josh waiting. Oh yeah, another thing that I did is I updated my um, my epic slapping command to make it so it doesn't just say Streamlabs slapped you or slapped whoever slapped. Um, now it will actually come up with the name of the person. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out my commands right now um, because I want to actually come up with like randomized responses so it won't just say every time that you got slapped with feathers you'll get different stuff but I'm trying to figure out how to do that and honestly I've been so tired lately I have barely been on The Sims 2 off stream I've barely done anything off stream just because I've been exhausted uh, anyways, I'm going to get into the game. We're back in Baladonna Cove today. Um, so today, well, okay, last last stream on Saturday we played with the Baldwin family. You know, the, the Alec Baldwins and all that. Um, no, there's no Alex in this neighborhood. Um, but yeah, we played with the Baldwin family. Um, today... Moving on, in Baladonna Cove, biggest city around, we are going to be playing with, in this apartment, if it wants to spend ages loading up like usual, um, classic uberhood moment because I have so much custom content and mods and this uberhood is just massive and it has to load a lot. Um, but yeah, we are starting one half of the... Uh, the typical couple of households, I guess. When I say that, I mean like there are two households in The Sims 2 Baladonna Cove that usually just end up being one household because they have a lot of chemistry always and they're basically in love they're basically in love essentially but I won't be able to play both of them today um, because I don't think I'm gonna have time <laughs> uh, but hopefully we'll be able to finish off the other household next week but um, if the game wants to load up the apartment lot in the screen that comes up with the household screen it would be really nice game really nice game uh, well, it's a 50-50. We're playing the Riley family today. The Riley household. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I still have no idea what I'm going to do with some of these households because um, 
<laughs> Seeing as I'm curled up in bed sick, I'm a watch to get my Sims fix. Also, my dog just scared the shit out of me. I'm so sorry that you're sick. That sucks. I hate being sick. Is it just drains the life out of you? I hope you get better soon. But also, I do feel that about your dog scaring the shit out of you. Oh no. Well, hopefully, I can um help a little bit <laughs> um game come on it's just gonna take a while I'm, I should probably just load up the household screen while my starting soon screen is happening with Belladonna Cove I think it's always with the apartments I don't know but oh it seems to be taking its time Good thing I started earlier than I was going to start because I was originally going to start at 2 p.m., which is in five minutes. But um, I was like, you know what? I feel like two hours to play The Sims isn't enough. There we go. Okay. So we're going to be playing the Riley household. Um, basically, it's got Timothy Riley and his daughter Sally Riley. Their family bio says when Timothy Riley moved to Belladonna Cove, he wanted to start a new life and make a solid future for his daughter. Then he met Vivian Cho, and now he hopes they can join forces. That sounds like some crime fighting thing. Like they're going to be superheroes. I've been watching too much Lego Ninjago. Embarrassing to say, but I've been watching too much of it, and it's embarrassing. Anyways, um, he thinks Sally would enjoy having a little sister. Yeah, me too. I'm in pitch black right now, and I heard a huff, so I looked up and just saw the light reflection of his. Oh my god, that is actually terrifying. It's like something out of a, a cartoon. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna load up these guys. Yeah, I'm um, also. Um, please forget that I said anything about me watching Lego Ninjago. It's, it's a kid's show. Like, no one, I'm a, what, 22 year old gal? I don't watch kid's shows. I've just been really bored lately and I've got nothing to do. So I was like, okay, I'm going to watch my child, one of my childhood shows on Netflix. And that's the one I chose, and now I'm on season, like, 14. It's embarrassing. <laughs> it's actually embarrassing. And, like, literally two days ago, when I was talking to Jadarius, you know, my friend Jack, um, I was like, yeah, I'm on season 10. Two days later, I'm on season 14. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> to be fair, the episodes are, like, 11 minutes long. Anyways, I should stop talking about it. Um, <laughs> anyways, here we are um, with the Rileys. Uh, so they stay in the same apartment complex as the Cho family. They're staying on the second floor while the Cho family, who we'll see next week, are on the first floor. Um, so their apartment... Reshade is doing a lot of work for me right now. So it's quite cute actually. They've got a grand piano here with a stereo opposite it. we got a computer, a grill outside on the porch. Um, honestly, a kind of nice kitchen. I like the, I actually like how this kitchen looks. I need to use this tiling more often because I quite like it. Um, we got a bit of a dining area, we've got Sally's bedroom, a little bathroom. They only have one bathroom in this place, that's rough. Um, and then we've got Timothy's bedroom. Now, I haven't opened these households for a while because Belladonna Cove was one of the first neighborhood. it was the first neighbourhood that I started giving makeovers to in my Uberhood, so it's been months. Um, and then we've also got a nice little playground over here. Cartoons are great. I'm 26 and still watch them. I do enjoy the odd cartoon here and there, even if it's a Lego cartoon. But it's 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 a good time. I totally am not shipping two Lego men, not men, Lego characters together. Jay of forever. Um, hi, Radiant. <laughs> How are you doing? Um, okay. So my introductions. Here we've got. 
Mr. Timothy Riley. I figured I would give him long-ish hair. Huh? Um, yeah, don't mind me. I'm going to be talking about Lego Ninjago here and there throughout the stream, most likely, because I have watched far too much of it in the last week. So if you get confused and I'm talking about random Lego characters, that is why. <laughs> Absolutely embarrassing. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is Timothy Riley. He is a knowledge sim. Um, his sim bio says, Timothy and his wife were quite the team of brains. They were both devoted to their careers and doing well. The freak electrical accident that ended her life was devastating to both he and Sally. He knows that they need to look to the future and he hopes Vivian and Etsu can be a big part of it. So yeah, literally the Rileys and the Chos might as well just be one household at this point. Also, what is Crystal Vu doing here? Oh, uh, I'm gonna scroll in. Hi Crystal, how you doing? Does she live here? Does Crystal live here? Wait. She does! Crystal lives in Belladonna Cove and her boyfriend kind of lives in Strangetown. That's a long um, commute. Lego is great, fun, not not embarrassing. I do enjoy Lego. I just, yeah, I just kind of feel funny about watching a kid's show, but I am enjoying it at least. <laughs> it's, it's good. It's a good time. I still have it slightly open on my phone on Netflix, but I need to um, close my phone because I'm streaming. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So yeah, Timothy here. He's a Libra, which is usually a romance aspiration like Zodiac sign according to Pleasant Sims's um, calculator for aspirations, I guess. But the game is deemed to knowledge sim, which is uh, interesting. Um, he is level 8 surgeon in the medical career. I'm pretty sure him and Vivian are both in the medical career, but Timothy is, you know, a lot higher than her. I believe Vivian is a nurse, which is like level 3. There's still a lot of people in the medical career in this, uh, in this uberhood. I'm gonna <laughs> need to divert some over to, like, the natural science, um, career at some point or something like that. Everyone has their guilty pleasure. That is a good point. Guilty pleasures are fun. Um, okay. So, the traits I've given Mr. Timothy are dog person, virtuoso, perfectionist, schmoozer, ambitious, and nurturing. And his secondary aspiration I gave him was popularity. Um, and if we look in his relationships, <laughs> you'll see he's got three bolts with Miss Vivian Cho, who is also widowed. Um, so as I read in Timothy's Simbo, his former wife, um, Olivia Riley, was got in some electrical accident and basically she died by electrocution. So now he's just a single dad. Not for long though, because uh, if him and Vivian are staying in the same apartment complex and have three bolts, that's going to be interesting. What's your turn-ons and turn-offs? Ah, oh, yes. Black hair, undead, and neat freak. Good stuff. Timothy and Vivian have adorable babies. That is true. I I do love their relationship, usually. Um, now, over here, if you want to come into the apartment so we can take a better look at you. Over here, we have got Miss Little Sally Riley. Um, she's slightly made over a little bit, same with her dad, but honestly, they're not too bad looking sims. Like, they, they're pretty alright for Max's sims. Um, anyways, um, so she is just a child. She doesn't have an aspiration at the moment. However, when she ages into a teenager, I believe she's going to have the popularity aspiration. Um, she currently wants to be best friends with Desdemona Otimus. Oh, no, not Otimus. Desdemona Cap. I'm, I'm, uh, I get all my sims mixed up in this Uberhood. Anyways, I'm locking that in because best friends. I love making best friends. I like making Sims from different neighborhoods best friends. It's very cute. Um, she seems to know Sophia Baldwin as well, which is nice. 
Uh, but yeah, Sally Riley here. Her sim bio says, Sally likes having her father all to herself. She's working hard to do better at school, so he'll be proud of her. Although she thinks Etsu is cute as a doll, will she be open to having new members of the family? Did she just call Etsu a doll? Like, an object? Like, <laughs> like a Barbie doll type thing. This is Sally. Sally. This is um. She's a toddler. She's she's a she's a human. Anyways, um, Sally's traits are artistic, uh, charismatic, and I've thrown in diva in there as well because she loves having her dad's attention. Is what I put in. <laughs> uh, there's so many sims to keep up. Uh, it's hard to keep up. Yeah, it's been um, a bit of a struggle with this Uber sometimes because I there's there's so many blonde sims and there's so many blonde children. <laughs> like there's Jill um, Smith, there's Desdemona Cap, there's Ariel Cap, there is uh, Sharla Otimus. There, there's so many sims that almost look the same and it's hard to keep track of all of them especially with the blonde adults sometimes but I'm trying to individualize everyone to being their own people how does the traits work I've been thinking of getting that mod but not sure how it works so basically um I downloaded all of the like these things like these basically like cards from the miscellaneous menu i downloaded all of them from a hexagonal by pyramids um downloads page for the traits mod and then so the traits won't like really do anything unless you download mods which um will incorporate like the traits into your sims and you'll put like a trait into your sims um, inventory and that'll class your sims as having that trait so let's say I gave that to Sally I then made her a cat person just now um, but basically I have a lot of different mods that add different things to sims when they have certain traits like I have a mod that um, Depending on which traits some sims will have, they may do better in some careers than others. Um, I have mods that will um, increase how fast they can gain certain skills or talent badges depending on what traits they have. Um, sometimes like a someone with like a childish trait even if they're an adult will go on a playground or they'll slide down the stairs and it just unlocks like s somewhat rarer behaviors sometimes um for sims with certain traits and there's an entire spreadsheet that has been compiled with lists of all the mods for each trait um I'll see if I can find it real quick actually because it's very 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 useful um and I just honestly just pick and choose what mods I want and they barely take up any space as well like and there's a lot of um there's barely any like conflicts the only thing you need to make sure you have is the easy inventory check um by i think it's side or something like that because without that then um you may have a little bit of glitches where your traits mods will try to find traits in your sims's inventories but because you don't have the easy inventory fix um it's gonna almost like having a jump bug all the time because it's trying to constantly do this check in the, your sims's inventories I'm going to see if I can find this spreadsheet. Where is Noodle Noodle's um traits thing? Uh Sims 3 to 2 traits spreadsheet. Let's have a look. 
cross fingers, I find it relatively quickly. Uh, I had it on Tumblr somewhere, but I've completely forgotten where it is. It was on Tumblr. What's the name of the person? Okay, I think it's Noodle. I'm just gonna look up Fway on um on Tumblr because I know that Fway has at least shared it. Just going to scroll down for a little bit. Um, by the way, one of my um, followers um, whose name is Fway Sims on Tumblr. They make a lot of amazing, amazing mods for um, like the Sims three to two traits, and I love them so much. It's to, to like to actual bits. Come on. I'm scrolling so fast. I can't believe it. <laughs> Uh, um, I need to download the mod where um, I can actually because I've got the I've got Epi Sims's mod for giving your Sims favorite colors and such like that. But I want to download the mod for giving your Sims favorite music, even though it won't really affect my streaming so much because, like, I don't play the Sims music on stream just in fear of copyright because there's a lot of actual music in that game um, that is that can possibly give me a <laughs> copyright <laughs> so I just kind of keep it on silent but I do want to get the um the favorite music um mod which works basically the same as um the favorite color mod I think I've found the spreadsheet okay that's the that's the document with all the um compiled um three to two trait mods. There's a there's been a lot of people working on it and it may seem daunting at first, but there's a lot of amazing stuff there. And yeah, I very much enjoy it. Um I find it sad that Sims 2 gets copyright it used to not yeah. It's um it sucks. But, I mean, I've, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. I just kind of play apartment life loading music <laughs> for over, for ages and ages, just because it's kind of peaceful and you can almost um, zone it out sometimes. <laughs> but eventually I'm going to work on trying to separate, like make a custom, another audio track so I can separate the music from my VODs so I can then play whatever music I want on stream and if I upload my VODs to YouTube I will just remove the copyrighted music track. So that's my aim for the future, I'm just really bad at working technology. Um, oh yeah, I didn't give you anything so I'm gonna give you your needs, aspiration benefits. Um, okay, I think that's everything introduction wise. Also this is a really cute wallpaper. I like the roses. They're very adorable. I do like them. Um, okay. So you need to go to work soon and you need to go to school. You're walking to school. I know you. I just walked you into this apartment, but you're going to school. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> you want to go visit Etsu. Okay. Let's knock on the door. I guess we just visited Etsu, even though we're visiting, uh, we're visiting Vivian. Oh, oh, see, these two have so much chemistry. They just go straight at it to all the romantic interactions. Also, you have to go to work, Timothy. Uh, so this is Vivian Cho, um, who's basically guaranteed to end up with, uh, Timothy Riley. Basically, uh, guaranteed. 
Oh, they've got crushes. Okay, you're going to work. Twitch has been doing weird things with copyright music as well, but been a while since I read up on that front. Yeah. I mean, at the very least, I'm probably going to play different Sims music when I get it sorted out. Who is trying to knock on my door? Is anyone there? Hello? I don't think so. Oh. Wait. Andrew Tang. You live on the roof. Okay. Nice. Um, when do you come home? 4pm. So your daughter's going to be home alone for an hour. Fun. <laughs> Very fun. Marcel Jock is going for a run. We haven't even gone to Desiderata Valley yet. We only have um, two more neighborhoods to go after Belladonna Cove, but I think we're going to be stuck in Belladonna Cove for a while since it's easily the biggest neighborhood that we got so far. Because some of my other subhoods had about maybe five to seven families, I think. Like, in between that. But Baladonna Cove has, like, 10, 11, 12? I need to count. I'm going to open up my spreadsheet. <laughs> I, need a, I need a check. Um, if I want to scroll all the way down the spreadsheet, please, Mr. Spreadsheet. Spreadsheet. Um, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, there's thirteen families in Baladonna Cove, and that's like not even talking about the families that are going to be moving to Baladonna Cove for next round, because the the oldies have moved here with Mary Sue and Angela, and Patricia Wan's gonna be moving here next round. So Baladonna Cove is gonna be um a doozy. Game's gonna yell at you about Sally being alone, but even for an hour, may want to hire a nanny and track schedule so she isn't. Yeah, one hundred percent. I agree with you on that. Word spreads fast in this family. Sally's relatives heard about her report card, and they're pleased as punch. Um, they give Sally a one hundred dollar reward for making them the proudest doting family this side of SimCity, and it seems that she's got an A plus report card. Good job, Sally. Uh, there's no one here to cheer for you right now, though. Yeah, no one's here, Sally. <laughs> You've got maybe about half an hour to, uh, to, you know, not freak out and... Oh, she wants to play on the merry-go-round. That's a cute want. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to track schedule. <laughs> Ask her homework help. She's not really friends with Vivian or Etsu. She wants to use the bathroom. So when is that little pop-up going to show up saying that uh, Sally shouldn't be left home alone? Because I'm waiting for it. I'm sure you're busy, but I just thought I'd remind you to keep in touch everyone. Okay. If I got these pop-ups, like, in real life, um, I would be getting them every day. Because there's a lot of people that I'm really bad at keeping in touch with. Because I'm really bad at being, staying in contact. I have friends, but I'm quite awful at speaking to them. I'm gonna see if I can reset you, because I think you're... Hair's being annoying. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's quite cute. That is quite cute. That is quite cute. I do love that. Oh my god, I love how, like, busy Baladonna Cove looks. That was cute. <laughs> I would get those notifications saying that I 
am about to just become distant friends with my friends like every day. <laughs> They're having fun. I'll let you go on the, the playground and your dad can like supervise you or something. Why do you want to visit Etsu specifically? How about you visit... Oh, how about you meet Patricia Wan? I want to see if there's anything. <laughs> like, I don't want to be a bit, uh... Cause some drama. Okay, you're not attracted. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. You're just only attracted to Vivian. <laughs> I'm cold, but my dog is lying on the blankets and is hugging one of my feet and he gets mad if I move. Oh, no. Can't even like nudge your dog a little bit. <laughs> this is gonna be so cute. Cute screenshots galore. Let's go. I'm gonna do this. God, I love playing with families. <laughs> I wish you did that face while she was on the other side. Okay, never mind. It's fine. It's fine. I'll just uh I'll just watch. This is very cute. Oh my god. My dog is a chonker, hard to nudge him. Oh, he got up and left. Oh, okay. Oh, the dogs. Dogs are cute. I, I don't personally have any dogs. I've got cats, but I do love dogs still. I find it cute that these two are best friends. You want to buy a bird cage? Why? We live in an apartment. I don't think we can own pets in this apartment. Why is our- oh, I was like, why is our TV on? Because Patricia's here. Um, answer the phone. We gotta go inside. It's getting late. <laughs> I just find it funny that he gets the want to visit Etsu and not Vivian. <laughs> it's like, I would like to visit this toddler. <laughs> What are you? Oh. Um, I kind of want to move your homework to being over here. Um, you can watch the kids show or something on TV. Who on earth is calling you? A random child. Okay. Someone you don't even know. You just met them over the phone. Okay. Nice. Uh, you want to gain a skill point? You want Sally to get into private school? I can do that. I might say bye to Patricia. Uh, say goodbye. And then help Sally with homework. Oh my god, they are literally within each other. Okay. Um, he only needs to get logic and cleaning to get to level 9. Uh, his lifetime want is to become chief of staff. So we're nearly there. He's definitely going to be the, m the money bags here though. I have two dogs and a cat. Technically one dog is my fiance's but the dog switched us. His dog gets so excited to see me when I come in from work or running errands while mine runs to my fiance and ignores me. Funny part is my fiance told me Bubbly wouldn't listen to me the first year so we were surprised he listened within weeks. Oh. It's almost fate, you know? The dogs know. I do really like Timothy's hair. I like how it fits on his face. 
He looks like a bit of a, a nerdy rock star in this little photo here. Did I even give him a makeover? I didn't even... Did I? Wait, I'm gonna check your other outfits real quick. I think I actually did give him a makeover. Yeah, I think I did. I don't know why I chose this as his everyday, but I guess it works. I guess I was like, okay with it. I was like, oh yeah, that works. We still have a TV on, I see. Um, give your daughter a hug, because that was very cute, and you know, she helped, you helped her with her homework. Um, are you hungry? Timothy, it looks like you're gaming, uh, gaming? <laughs> yeah, you're gaming. <laughs> looks like you're gaining some fame now. More and more people are starting to see that you're a good sim. Some good things may come your way soon. That is very exciting. Um, is this a hacked computer? No, it's not. I need to get a hacked computer. That one. I'm going to... Not you. I'm going to let Timothy deposit some money because I feel a little uncomfortable about having that much in your household funds. Um, good old Vivian is having some jump roping time outside. <laughs> Love it. It's adorable. Bubbly seems uh, seen so many women come and go with my fiance that he pays no attention until me gets gets made for each other. As he would probably be devastated if we broke up. Oh, that's so cute. I love that so much. Oh, you're playing on the piano. Okay. Um, I guess we can try and get your cleaning skill up, Timothy. You want to buy some playground equipment, Sally? Um, where are we gonna put it? <laughs> like, okay, we'll we'll go and go buy you some playground equipment. Yeah, we'll we'll do that. Uh, merry go <laughs> merry go round in the living room. No, um, a super tower. Go play in the in the living room. I don't think that'll work either. Um, how about a slide or a monkey bars? Or a, you know, a, a swing. This one definitely won't fit. Damn. Guess we can't get it, Sally. My bad. <laughs> she doesn't even um have any creativity skill point. But I don't mind her just chilling. I feel like if we tried to call up the headmaster and invite him over... He might like the house. It's just we don't exactly have the cooking skills for it. Um, but we could try. Could definitely give it a try. What would we even cook for him? Serve dinner. Spaghetti. I don't know if he's going to like spaghetti. Have you bought anything? No, but you have an incision precision surgical training station. Um, yeah, if we ever move you out of this apartment, we need to give you an office. Just like, uh, what's his name from the Baldwins? I need to check my spreadsheet. <laughs> Benjamin. Benjamin Baldwin. Because he also needs his own lab. <laughs> Um, you're getting a bit sleepy. Oh, she's playing Twinkle Twinkle. I can't even play Twinkle Twinkle on the piano. I can only play half of the Rugrats theme song, which, uh, which Sean taught me. And I'm just not that good, because my fingers are just too dangly. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have you go to bed. <laughs> Done! I like how whenever they finish the piano they're like, like button mash almost. Well, you're close to getting your cleaning skill point. And you've got work tomorrow? Yes, you do.
getting close. You want to buy a telescope. Actually, a telescope would be pretty good for you because you need to get some logic. Um, it's just a matter of where I'm going to put the telescope. I... Maybe over here? I think that works. Hopefully. You want to stargaze. And you want to reach body level 1. You got your cleaning skill point. You want a friend. All stuff that I can try and do with you, I guess. Um, I'm going to call service nanny. Um, try and have... The nanny track his schedule. Nanny. Yep. Uh, track schedule. I could always do a thing where I have her go to Vivian's apartment after school, but I don't think I can do the ask to watch kids thing because Sally gets home before Timothy does and it's going to be weird. It's going to be very strange. Why am I having a missing action stringed in table? Okay, cool. Thank you, I guess. I'll have to check that out. But I think we're... <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? Timothy literally just walked up to the telescope and he's like, I just discovered a previously unknown star and made 500 simoleons. This man is too lucky. I hope he gets abducted. It'll be really funny. You want to gain a logic skill. I'll have him go to bed at maybe two. That might be reasonable. I think I always pictured um, Timothy as your, you know, your nerdy dad, essentially. Also, I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. Just a little bit. My friends told me it looks, um, what's the word? Tacky, having my follower goal. But, I don't know. I like my follower goal being up there. Um, okay. I'm just gonna add the sleep in pajamas in a bit. I'm gonna lock in the one for him to get a friend as well. Okay, go to bed. What is your hobby? Music and dance. Ah, uh, makes sense. See, the trouble with um, knowledge sims for me is they are always getting wants to gain skill points. And I'm like, okay, great. But then I rarely ever get them to like do stuff for their hobbies. And I'm trying to get them to work on, you know, all my sims to work on their hobbies in their spare time. So, yeah, it's, um, it's a bit of a battle. Um, okay. Oh my god. Holy. Oh my god. Tom, thank you for the raid. How you doing? Hi, Bobo. Thank you for the follow, Melissa. Oh my god. This is a lot. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. How you guys doing? Oh my god, welcome to the stream. For those that don't know me, my name is Indosai. I love The Sims 2. 
a lot. <laughs> and um, today we we've only just recently started off uh, Ballads on a Cove, um, but we are playing the Riley family for a little bit today. And you know we're only on our second day of the rotation, but yeah, we're just uh, having a little bit of fun, hoping to get Timothy near the top of the near the medical career uh sally a few more friends um she's a bit of a diva i've got her like that in my uberhood because she loves having her dad's attention so she might get in the middle of her and vivian i don't know i'm still trying to come up with storylines <laughs> but yeah doing good thanks we did fall guys and then stardew valley with friends oh that sounds fun i love stardew valley so much such a such a great game school bus is gonna come in an hour um sally's taking up all the time in the bathtub good good job sally um i'm gonna have you invite the headmaster over for tonight sally's always like that yeah she's a bit of a character this one uh take a shower quickly uh, local private school headmaster is interested in coming over for dinner. Do you feel like entertaining? If so, there might be an admittance to the private school in the works. Sure. Oh my god, what kind of, what kind of headmaster is this? He's gonna be, oh. Sally. Sally. Sally, no. Sally, please. Sally's just fully, like, staring. She's like, Dad. Dad. <laughs> what you doing, Dad? <laughs> Dad's like, I'm, I'm in the shower, sweetie. Please walk over here, Sally. This is actually scarring. <laughs> Sally's boundary issues. <laughs> Literally. Oh my god. You can... No, no, don't go in there again. <laughs> Hi, Bree. How you doing? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> See, he's got the want to visit Etsu again. He's like, I don't want to visit Vivian so much. I want to visit Etsu. Oh, uh, no, not yet. Is that a skin tune part of the lips or lipstick? Are you talking about with, um, possibly? I think I've got like a, a nude like lip gloss or something on it. But other than that, I just have a default skin on. But I don't think I added that much, really, to Sally. She's a pretty sim. I can give her that. I kind of want to, yeah, I do want to work on her being best friends with Desdemona Cap. I think they would be fun. Um, you want to maximize your cleaning skill. <laughs> you want to <laughs> visit Itsu. God damn doing good how's the stream going streams going good just started not oh god it's I, I say not too long ago it's nearly been an hour and we are only on the second day this seems to happen quite often <laughs> um but yeah we're with timothy riley he looks like a bit of a nerdy rock star and i kind of love him <laughs> are you merging cleos with them cleos I, I'm thinking of um, eventually, I mean, I think it's, I think it's inevitable that Vivian and Timothy are going to end, end up together. They live above them. Oh, um, the, the Chos. Yeah, I'm, I think they're definitely going to move in together at some point, but I'm trying to have it be a, be a lot slower. <laughs> I, I feel like it's always like they move in instantly. But I'm just gonna play the the Rileys on their own for the moment, and you know they've only the Chos and well Vivian and uh, Timothy only just have a crush on each other at the moment. Even though he just fully walked into her apartment and then like started doing a dance kiss with her, which was like okay, sweep me off my feet, I guess. But you know, I'm trying to go for my typical uh, romance romance book uh, slow burn thing with these guys 
But, um, because, I don't know, I usually either like to move in my sims together at the beginning or the end of the round. And because I haven't played the chose yet, I probably will move her in, like, next round because I need to get the chance to age her properly as well. By the way, uh, Marissa Cleveland, <laughs> looking like a queen. I love her a lot. I do love her makeover a, a bunch. Yep, can't wait to play her and her husband. Uberhoods are, are, are fun, but so easy to mix up sims with how many there are, yeah. I do like the black UI, but not a fan of the seasons part. Yeah, the seasons is a little bit hard to see. Um, I like that it pops up in color with the season um, that it is, but like not being able to see the other ones is a bit iffy. So yeah, but other than that, I like everything else about the dark UI. All the Belladonna Sims are so hot in your game. I need to do some makeup. <laughs> oh my god, I'm flattered. <laughs> they were they were the first Sims that I gave makeovers to in my Uberhood. So um, yeah, I was uh, I put my whole brain into giving them their makeovers. Vivian, what are you doing? You are going to jump rope. <laughs> okay, Vivian. And you're going back inside. Okay. She just has a morning routine where she goes outside and jump ropes for a bit. Is it just the menu UI or is it the other parts as well? Um, It's everything. So in Creator Sim, it's all dark UI. In the neighborhood screen, it's dark UI. Um... Even the loading screens, like when you load into the game, it's dark UI. The only thing that's not dark UI is when you're loading into the family, like the households from neighborhood screen. Other than that, everything's dark UI. Yeah. I thought you were going to say you put your whole industry into the makeovers. <laughs> Basically, it's funny because uh, my friends, they call me, um, they, they do say that now. They they say Indusi. They sometimes call me Indossi. It's quite it's quite amusing. So <laughs> yeah. Indossi making my Sims look like trash. <laughs> oh no, Bri, no, your Sims look amazing. For those that don't know, Brianna Peppers in chat has her own Balladonna Cove series that she does on Twitch. Um, she also has an Uberhood series on YouTube, uh, and so does, so does Tom James. Tom James also has an Uberhood series on Twitch. Very, very fun stuff. Well, the nanny's here, at least. We're not going to be completely alone for a half an hour. And she goes and watches the TV. Not the free promo! <laughs> I do mine every Saturday, I also do- Yes! Okay, I'm just gonna... I... I wonder if it's gonna work like this. There we go. And I'll do this one as well. <laughs> Why am I on cooldown? <laughs> on my own channel! <laughs> that is embarrassing. There we go. <laughs> oh, all good. No worries about the the called the what's it called? The shout out. <laughs> Queen of Twitch commands. Oh my god. Okay, I should probably call up uh, Desdemona actually, because we need to we need to keep up with our friends. Timothy returned home from work. Oh, you're gonna go hug your dad. Okay. Go for it. Go for it. She just ran down like a whole flight of stairs. Meadow Thea. Um, okay. We are gonna call up and invite over Desdemona Cap. Um, 
we are going to go visit uh, Vivian if she's home. Maybe. Be like, hey, can I borrow your bathroom? <laughs> Even though we've we've fully got a whole hour in bathroom upstairs. <laughs> Where is the toddler? Oh, there. Uh, invite over. Every time I see someone play it overhead, it makes me want to play it. I'm the same. Literally, so I can't wait till I get to my university rounds. Because I think we've got Tank Grunt, um, Tibalt Cap. We're gonna do a little romantic kiss here. Yeah, Tank Grunt, Tibalt Cap, Romeo Monty, Miranda Cap, David Otimus, and then eventually. Oh my god, I forgot the headmaster's coming over. Um, and then eventually, one of the Triku teens is possibly also going to go to college she's a vampire though so <laughs> depends what she wants to do I guess I forgot that the headmaster's coming over hello mr. headmaster how's it going <laughs> oh what an interesting looking face you have very uh very interesting stuff uh, uh, uh um gotta go and uh do my my typical stuff. Do I have to go into my manage suspicious user? <laughs> Wait. God, sometimes it's 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 a little annoying being your own moderator <laughs> when everyone else of your moderators is at work. There we go. Easy. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Be gone, bot. Do you do age groups, example, Lucy and Alex in one age group, or do you random sims get with anyone? Um, it really depends, because uh, Lucy and Alex are definitely, I think Lucy is one day younger than Alex. Um, I need to check my spreadsheet about it, but yeah, because Alex is currently a, um, a teenager right now. But uh, he has three bolts of chemistry of Juliet Cap, and I'm basically working on this whole arranged marriage storyline um, between the Caps and the Goths. And then Lucy, she's still a child right now, and my chat have kind of deemed her to live outside in a tent, <laughs> which was uh, chaotic. <laughs> it's a uh, basically poor Lucy <laughs> I always forget that I can just do um slash ban I'm so bad at this <laughs> twitch stuff <laughs> okay I need to greet our headmaster because I'm really bad at remembering what to do with the headmaster and I don't want him to go home yet And we are also a solo dad, so... Um... Oh god. Uh... About school... Uh, we can give tour. A tour of your home would be lovely. Oh my god, we already got 24 schmooze points. Okay. This might be a lot easier than I thought. Oh, okay, bye Desdemona. <laughs> you can do uh, mod icons, which is a faster way, but sometimes you can't do that if your chat is spamming. <laughs> yeah, it's um... I just... Usually I just have so much on my mind, and it's like, oh my god. <laughs> and I've also got so many tabs open. <laughs> Oh, you're just dancing. Very nice time. Okay. Where are you? Oh, you're coming upstairs. Okay. Um, I haven't even made dinner yet. Uh, showroom. He loves this room. God damn. We can go into the child's bedroom now. 
having the time of his life. Oh, we only got 10 tour points for that. Are you joking? You loved this room. Come in, come in my bedroom. I'll show you my bedroom. Uh, sir, please. Come in my bedroom. I'll show you this bedroom. It's a very cool room. Take him to the bathroom. He hate. I know the headmasters always hate the bathrooms, but I'm gonna do it just for stream. Come in here. Can't wait to do this one. Oh, he loves the bathroom. What? Never mind. Thanks for the tour. It was great to get to see the house. <laughs> okay. Um, guess we're making spaghetti for dinner. Um, how about you go talk to the headmaster, I guess. I can confidently say I've never shown the headmaster the bathroom. <laughs> Sometimes there's times where you'll show the headmaster the bathroom and they'll be like, um, you're giving me a tour of your house. You don't have to show me the bathroom. And it's, it's actually hilarious. Add one of four. Oh no. Not the ads. Can I actually... I'm not really good at checking how long these ads go for. I only had one. See, I'm all... I'm still learning some Twitch stuff here and there. But also, half of it is just Twitch at the same time. <laughs> four or four, I don't mind watching the ads. I don't mind supporting you. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> I know you probably did not hear that, but thank you. <laughs> okay, the spaghetti's ready. Very exciting. Um, I think we're gonna get into private school. Cause we're at 84 out of 90. Okay, can we can we call to dinner? Can we can we uh that's enough chatting. Call to dinner. Call to dinner. We're having dinner. Yeah, it's dinner time. Oh my god, we're at ninety one out of ninety. It it can only go downhill. I saw he liked the bathroom. Yeah, it was I don't know why, but it was cool. <laughs> Twitch is very unpredictable when it comes to ads. I had someone say they once had four minutes worth of ads in one go, which is well above my hourly. That's insane. Yeah, I um, don't even have that m many ads. Well, I'm, yeah, I don't have that long for my uh, hourly ads. Good to know where the bathroom is. <laughs> Oh, he, she does not like the the headmaster. Oh wait, what are you doing, Timothy? No, don't. Please, if you play the piano, he's going to hate you now. Oh wait, we have two creativity skill points. Still, I don't know. I think the headmaster is into uh, fine music. And I don't think your creativity level 2 piano music is fine music. Classical music. Um, all the sorts. Let's hear. Yeah, no. No, that's not it. That's not it, Timothy. But let's hope the headmaster does not hear you. <laughs> Lovely work, Sally. Oh my god, 117 out of 90. Okay. Oh, thank heaven. Thank heaven, you stopped right as he walked in. Are we in? The headmaster is impressed with your family. Sally just got into private school. Hell yeah. God damn. I think this calls for celebratory woohoo, honestly. So we might go visit. We might go visit Vivian if we can. Uh, 
After moving in chose, I moved them out of Baldonna and put them in River Blossom. Oh, into a house since they have a couple of kids. Yeah, River Blossom Hills kind of makes some sense for them. Even, um, I kind of like the idea of moving them into Pleasant View as well. I don't know, somewhere like suburban. Oh, she's sleeping. That sucks. Okay, well, guess we have to go to guess we have to go to bed now. Well, um, Sally's in private school. I think this is my first uh, family that I've directly gotten them into, gotten the kids into private school with. Because I think um, I have some families like. I think it's the Ramirez's where they want Tessa to get into private school, but I haven't gone ahead and invited the headmaster over yet. But, yeah. Is it weird that I absolutely love the knock on door interaction? I wish they did, did it that at the houses too. Yeah, I do like that. But then at the houses it's like, ding dong. Um, you're not that tired, so you... <sighs> what is this error? Missing action string and table. I'm gonna have to check it out off stream. What the? Okay! There's a weird glitch, wait. Wait a minute. Okay, now get out. Okay, nice. What is this? Lovely, lovely stuff. I'm gonna have to check out off stream. It doesn't seem to be breaking my game though. It's just a little bit annoying. I'm going to save it though because errors freak me out and I don't want to lose progress Consider we just got Sally into private school. <coughs> oh my god. But yeah, re usually I don't play Sims 2 on Tuesdays. Um, in fact, I'm supposed to be playing Raft at 4 o'clock today, which is in about an hour. But um, considering I won't be able to stream Sims 2 on Saturday when I usually stream Sims 2, um, I'm playing it today, a bit earlier. So, uh, <coughs> oh my god. I love having to download a three hour stream just to clip out a ten minute portion to re-upload it to YouTube. I feel that. I feel that so much. <coughs> I love allergies so much. Thank you for the hydrate. I was just about to be like, oh my god, I need water. <laughs> Don't die. I won't. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, sometimes I dedicate like an entire day to just exporting VODs or splitting some VODs in half. Like, I try to make it so it's like one episode, one family on my VODs channel. Uh, by the way, if you're not already, please go subscribe to my uh, VODs channel. <laughs> I'm uploading all my Uberhood videos on there, all my Raft videos, I've got Played Up, I've got Don't Starve. Um, sometime this week, the Death Arena from my 100 follower special is going on there. And... Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually surprised with like how nice the VODs channel is going because uh, I mean I only started uploading on it in I think December or something along those lines and I've already got quite a few subscribers so I'm quite happy with that and it, and it seems like they're watching which is uh, always nice in videos. <laughs> Um, you can go to bed. Okay. 
how close are you? You're not that close with Desdemona, but you are close enough to become friend, uh, best friends with Desdemona. <coughs> uh, you can wake up, have a shower. Uh, you want to do your homework? Always a good want in my children. I love it when my children want to do homework. <laughs> Thank you, Bobo. <laughs> Yeah, I think what I always look forward to in my Uber hoods are um, when my sims, uh, like my teenagers and such, go to uh, university. Because a lot of the time it's like sims that don't exactly know each other being forced into an environment where they have to socialize with each other. And I like new friendships in Uber hoods. I like seeing different chemistry combinations in Uber hoods. It's like... One of the main reasons I wanted to start an Uberhood in the first place is just like seeing Sims from different neighborhoods interact that usually never get the chance to. So I've been moving Sims around due to uh, not really wanting too many Sims in apartments if they're rich. Yeah, that's fair enough. I think I'm probably going to do that as well. I'm going to do a lot of um in between when I finish round one and starting round two I'm gonna have a look at a lot of the families and be like okay which ones do I see staying in the houses that they are in and which ones do I see having enough money to be able to move out and possibly populate some of my subhoods that may not have as many families I left Armand in Baladono and put them in a house. That makes sense. Yeah. The D. Bateau family are definitely um, too rich to go in an apartment, to say the least. But then again, that apartment they stay in is absolutely massive. It reminds me of something from... Uh, it reminds me of something from Bridgeport in The Sims 3. So, yeah. If you have, if you've played them yet, yeah, I haven't, I haven't got into them yet. Um, I think I'm a few families off from playing them. <coughs> oh my god. Um, cause next I'm playing the Cho family, and then Cleveland, and then Contender, Cordial, and then Debato. This neighborhood is massive. <laughs> Absolutely massive. I also have the Kims in um Baladonna Cove. Which I'm looking forward to because, um, what's it called? Because Cynthia is having an affair with Don Lothario. You play Azra? What's, what's Azra? I, oh, I, I see, yeah. yes, 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 I do. Yes, I do. Yeah, I do. Uh, ACI does so much work for me. <laughs> Sometimes I forget which mods I have in my game. Because there's so many. <laughs> and those, like with all the traits mods, it just adds to my mods list. But thankfully a lot of them are like... Very... They've got a lot of fixes and there's barely any conflicts with my traits mods. I won't save you yet. Timothy's got work in an hour. Do you use any other romantic slash relationship mods alongside ACR? Not yet. Um, I've been thinking about adding other ones. Like I think I wanted to have romantic standards. Um, I think I, oh, I might have romantic standards. But um, like stuff like Pescados. Uh, jealousy mod I was looking at as well and I thought that was pretty interesting but sometimes I'm a little scared to add other romance mods because I don't know if it's going to mess with my game to a giant extent I don't know I gotta test some things out I think thinking about adding Pescado's romance mod because it's known to work well with ACR okay okay 
If you end up adding it, Bray, um, I might add it as well. <laughs> I'm going to head off. All good, Melissa. Thank you. Thank you for the follow today. <laughs> uh, I always wonder which sims end up with who in other people's games. There's a lot of interesting stuff happening in my Uberhood. Um, we have Cersei Beaker um, having an affair with John Mole, um, who she's got three bolts with. Um, Pascal and Nervous are together, but they don't really have that much chemistry at the moment. Um, Cassandra Goth and Gabo Mackey seem to be having a thing at the moment. John Moll, <laughs> yeah. Um, Don Lothario has had a thing with Cynthia Kim, AJ Lona, um, even Florence Della Rosa a little bit. Oh yeah, um, Steven Tinker is having an affair with both Tara Cat and Florence Della Rosa, who are both best friends with each other, by the way. Um, what else? Nina Caliente and Chloe Curious are having a thing together. Uh, Kristen Lost and Lola Curious are engaged, because that always seems to happen <laughs> in my games. Um... Oh yeah, Carlos Contender over here, who I'll give you, I'll show, I'll show him to you guys real quick. Uh, this is my Carlos Contender. Um, <laughs> Carlos, so basically I have a sort of thing in my brain that Don almost idolizes Carlos Contender because he's like the, the Don Lothario before Don Lothario was Don Lothario almost. But the funny thing is a uh, Carlos Contender wants to like when I was giving him his makeover I checked out that he had the want that he wants to flirt with Don Lothario <laughs> and um I'm gonna have Carlos contender uh basically lure his romantic options in through the guise of being a personal trainer so yeah did Carlos have work done or is that really what he looks like he had a little bit of work done <laughs> he had a little bit of work done I kind of had to because he had um some cheeks so some uh, interesting cheekbones <laughs> and uh bone structure <laughs> I don't know I feel bad that I've given some of my the pre-mains like massive makeovers as they have gotten but I also kind of enjoy their new looks, like Brandy broke, I do enjoy her look. Um, let me think who else have gotten together in my uberhood. So much stuff has happened honestly. Um, Rip and Rip Grunt and Puck Summer Dream kind of had a little bit of a thing, but Puck is head over heels for Hermia Cap still, but then Hermia Cap has a thing for what's his name Gavin Newsom um absolutely all over the place um oh yeah Dustin broke um a thing I'm having happen with him is since Angela Pleasant has moved to Belladonna Cove um he's gonna you know try and make his way over to Belladonna Cove to visit uh Angela to you know because long distance stuff you know you try to visit your significant other but then him and Angela become distant and then he kind of um gets to know Ginger Newson on the side as well uh while he's like been coming to Belladonna Cove at the same time and uh the reason I'm doing that is because Dustin Broke and Ginger Newson have a lot of chemistry together and it's it's very interesting. It's very, very interesting. <laughs> um, Sally is home. I really want you to call up Desdemona. <gasps> the legend Stinky Skunk is here. I love Stinky Skunk so much. <laughs> I love Stinky Skunk. <laughs> I love Uberhoods. There's so much drama. I love it so much. <laughs> it's so much fun. Um, oh yeah, Don Lothario also had a thing with Titania Summer Dream, and Titania invited him over to the wedding on the day of the wedding, 
to Woohoo and then Oberon caught them and now they're not really speaking since um, when Titania tried to cast her fairy magic on Oberon to try and get him to forget that anything had happened. Um, he ended up falling back in love with Titania but then at the wedding when they're at the altar it's like the spell wore off and he left her at the altar and realized you know what um, I don't want to do this. So currently they're still in the same household but I think I'm going to have them see other people for the moment and maybe they'll get back together maybe not. Uh, Timothy wants to bring Krista Davison home. Sure, why not? I know you're a townie, but why not? Oh, you're gonna go hug your dad again. Okay, cool. Thank you so much, Sally. Um, I think also General Buzz is having some trouble trying to come to grips with his bisexuality at the moment, because he went on a date with he went on like a blind date with Joe Carr and he kept having issues whenever Joe Carr flirted with him even though they had chemistry so yeah there's some stuff there's some stuff happening <laughs> god I can't even like oh yeah not <laughs> oh my god I keep thinking of other things like Sandra, not Sandra, Stella. Stella Roth um, is having an affair with Jason Larson. <laughs> oh, so much stuff is happening. It's uh, kind of uh, kind of insane. Also, why does Stella's bedroom not have not Stella Sally's bedroom not have a window? Like we've got. We've got Timothy's bedroom with some windows. We've got a uh, two windows, but you know, still some windows. And then uh Sally's got nothing. Sally lives in like a little prison cell almost. <laughs> Even the kitchen has like some clipping with the window. God, this apartment is a uh, interesting. <laughs> Kinda interesting to say the least. Phantom! Hello, how's it going? You can add windows with cheats. Yeah, I think I knew that much. But I, do you have to move them out first? Because I think I know you can like change an apartment back to residential and then add the windows in and then you can change it back to an apartment once you've finished the stuff. No? There's another cheat. God, I feel like I'm learning new stuff every day when it comes to The Sims 2. <laughs> what is your hobby? Um, what is your hobby, Miss Sally? When Harry met Sally. Arts and crafts, I see. There are two apartment sheets you need to use at the same time. Oh! Okay. That would make giving apartments makeovers a lot easier, actually. <laughs> um, you want to make a friend? At least try and become friends with Chrissa, I guess. Wait. Oh, you've got one bottle of chemistry. Okay, we're fine. I was scared that Vivian was going to have competition. If you want to complete Reno, you need to, you do have to move out everyone. Yeah, I think I knew that much, but I didn't know about the ones that you could do when, um, they already moved in. What's your creativity at? Two. Not bad. Um, uh, maybe work on your homework for a little bit, Sally. Um, I kind of want to invite Vivian out on a date or something like that. There's a dorm cheat too. Ooh, I do love me some dorm cheats. 
I'm back from my errands, if you can tell. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm inviting you over just for now. Um, ask out on a date. Oh my god. Uh, Vivian. A uh, community lot. I love allergies a lot. <laughs> Hope you're ready to get rafted later. I most definitely am. I have hired a babysitter. I did hire a babysitter. Jason Greenman, hello. I kind of want to greet you. He's meeting a lot of River Blossom Hill Sims. Okay, the nanny's here. Good news. I feel like... Hmm... Can I ask out on a date again? Because I don't want to have that same glitch that Stella and Jason had where I tried to ask out on a date and then it didn't work and then I like teleported Jason over and then she was like, you invited someone else on a date uh, when you were supposed to go on a date with me? I hate you. And it was literally like himself. It was so weird. <laughs> it was so, so strange. Oh my god, I'm apparently already going on a date with Vivian. Community a lot? When's the taxi coming? Let's see, I think that same weird glitch is happening again, but I'm just gonna go on my own then. Oh my god. Yeah, it'd be nice to get um, Timothy a little friend group. Some people, some people that are uh, going to be friends downtown. She can meet you there. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping is going to happen. <laughs> I'm hoping that that's what's going to happen. Um... Well, it's currently storming, so I don't think anywhere outside is a good place to go. Um, we could go to the 50s diner. Kind of like that idea. And it's got a pool table there as well, I think, so. Got stuff to do. It's a bit weird due to the fact she lives upstairs if that's the lady he's... Yeah, I mean, he's got... Yeah, she currently lives... I think downstairs or something like that. But yeah. Same thing. It's kind of kind of strange that they're not going together. But <laughs> oh well. You better get a move on and start heading out to a community lot. You don't want to stand Vivian up. Okay. Thank heaven. <laughs> You're all good, Tom. Okay. We will not stand up our date. Part of me wishes I could get Timothy and Vivian to be with other people just to test their genetics. Um, cause I, I feel like I always like imagine Uberhoods as like, <laughs> like a science lab for testing genetics. <laughs> Is that bad? <laughs> Use the crystal ball mod. What's the crystal ball mod? Can you pick and choose what you want change for the black UI or does it come in one folder? Um, you can choose what loading screen you are, you, ch you have, cause I, for like the, but a lot of it is kind of like a bit of a given, but bits and pieces you can pick and choose. Um, 
yeah, pink pink UI you can choose. I I know that much. Um, cause yeah, it's been a while since I downloaded the dark UI, honestly. <laughs> but it's changed my whole life ever since. But uh, yeah, I know. Um, what's it called? The pink UI works very um very similar to the dark UI because it's like another version of the dark, like of the clean UI essentially okay we're on a date um I kind of don't want you to be on a date in your scrubs so I'm going to change you into your Every day outfit. Who's here? General Buzzgrunt. What a great oh, uh, omen for this date. <laughs> Hats wants to get one of. Oh my god. It's a little bright sometimes, but I don't care. I love it. Yeah. The pink UI does look quite cute, but I don't know. I think the dark UI is a lot nicer on my eyes. Um, okay, we are going to talk with Miss Vivian Cho. She's a family sim. Uh, she wants to have another baby. She wants to dine out and she wants to get married. I think we might work on getting in the relationship this this round, possibly. Who's here? Pierce Johnson, okay. Oh no. Benjamin Long, okay. Just seen Scream the movie, oh, then Judy. <laughs> Welcome back, Tom. You should try running ads once an hour, that's what I do, it gives me an excuse to take a break. Yeah! I might try that, because I think I was trying to do... What I try to do at one point, or what I currently have, I think, is running every half an hour. Um, and it's like, a little bit of ads, rather than doing one... Uh, one every hour where it's like a big chunk of ads but that giving time for a break I might end up changing to that it might I might do that I was just trying to go with the twitch incentive so I run three minutes every hour and my followers seem to prefer it well that's good I might I might actually uh I might do that actually then because um yeah I think the the I think a minute and a half or something every half hour is uh, getting um, a bit much. Okay. Get picture taken, that's so cute. Slow dance. Okay, we're gonna dine out. We're going to dine out. Be seated together. Some people will say they prefer longer ad breaks and others will say shorter. There's no pleasing everyone, so do whatever you like, yeah. I often do that as well. I often put ads every two hours. No idea. <laughs> yeah, it's a... <laughs> Trying to please Twitch is a bit of a... Bit of a, a struggle. <laughs> but I might try out the once every hour and see how it goes. Okay. Um, I would like the chef's choice, please. What did General Buzz get? Chili con con, good stuff. Oh god. This poor girl, she is wearing jeans under a dress. Classic 2000s look. Um, who's here? Oh, Benjamin Long. Vivian's quite cute. I love her. Tell those who are upset to sub so they can so they can't complain. That's what I was trying to tell my friends. <laughs> But to be fair, my friends um, are very, they can be very, they're very aware of how Twitch can sometimes be a little unfair to their creators, so, but yeah. I don't mind ads. That's good at least. <laughs> Who's here? Daniel Pleasant. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Oh, and Mrs. Crumplebottom! What a great ode for this date. Hello, Daniel. How are you doing? Mr. Shit Dad Award number one. 
Um, blow kiss. Let's do that. Oh my god, time is running out. Come on. Not gonna lie, but oh my god, they just fell in love. Are you kidding me? Literally, like... This man is sitting at this table. He blows a kiss to her and he's like, God damn, I'm in love with this girl after blowing a kiss. I mean, it depends on the people, I guess. Chemistry. Chemistry is insane. That interaction always gets my sims in love. <laughs> Most ads are well done, so I agree with Tom. Yeah. I'll give it a try. Um, I'll probably play a bit with it after the stream. PS is trying to greet me. How fun. Um, okay. Pay bill, because... I'm really bad at skipping out on the bill and I still have a rest of the date to do. Uh, you need to use the bathroom and then you can come back and take some photos. <laughs> take some interesting photos in the photo booth, you know? If you get what I'm saying. I'd have to make her selectable for this, I think, though. There's a witch loading on the lot. Is it Mary? It's Mary. It's night. It's guaranteed to be Mary. Mary, show yourself, please. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on, game. You got this. I think we've got about half an hour before I have to hop on over to Raft. And we only have one more day. Ah, yes. Hello, Mary. How are you doing? Long time no see, honestly. She's she's gorgeous, though. I do love Mary. Yeah. Okay. My Mary appreciation is over. Let's uh, do this. Um, are we not going to do this? Uh, make selectable. Oh my god. Come on, Vivian. Come on, Vivian. Everyone's gonna run on over. I find the woohoo interactions in this game so funny. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the waiter. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. And Mrs. Crumplebottom's coming over. <gasps> oh no. Wait. Oh no. Th these two are in the way. These two are in the way. Maybe. Uh oh. No, she's. No, they're not. I can't wait. <laughs> oh my god. It's so funny. Poor Timothy. He's he's literally going in the photo booth curtain. That's funny. God, I love Mrs. Crumplebottom. Just okay. Just keep making out in front of her, I guess. Go for it. Ask Vivian home. Get pictures. We could get photos taken. <gasps> she wants to get engaged. Oh, that's so cute! I think we'll at least propose going steady. Come on. They're in a really good mood. They're now dating. Surprise engagement? We could do it. Oh my god, he wants to get engaged as well. You know what? Why not? Let's go out in the rain. Um, over here? <laughs> I wonder which part of my message got auto-modded by- Oh my god, did you get auto-modded again? <laughs> Poor Mrs. Crumblebottom is just mad, no one is clapping her cheeks in the- <laughs> in the photo <laughs> I just allowed that to send, so that's hilarious. 
I put them on the table and give her a ring. I think I've done that with Ophelia and Johnny. I want to try something, um... Oh, now the lights turn off. No, no, no. We need the... We need the ambience. Come on. Let's do it. So cute! I did not expect Twitch to know what clapping cheeks was. Oh, they're so cute! They're engaged! I'm probably not going to get them married this round. Oh, maybe at the end of Vivian's round I might do. Glad they got together in your game. Me too. They're really adorable. I think I might get them married at the end of Vivian's round. They're very cute. No. That's very cute. Um, I think it's 2am, so I think- oh my god, I can just break them up. I can just break them up. Um, I think I'm gonna end the date and go home. They're very cute. Holy cow, I never knew a date could be that much fun. You're a total dream to spend time with. We just gotta do that again, baby. Hell yeah. You want to throw a wedding party? I'm locking that in. You want to be best friends with Krista? Interesting. Um, we could do it, I guess. We're not that close to being best friends, though. They get on well in my uh, in my game. Yeah, their kids do like each other. That's good. I think I am. Um, oh no! Don't! No! 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 Not the bugs. <laughs> I think they always just end up having like three bolts of chemistry in like most people's games. And they're basically guaranteed to get together through the Max's storyline, I think. That's what Max is intended, I guess. It's time to go home. It's like 3am. Off topic, but do you happen to know where you got their hair and outfit, specifically Timothy's hair? Um, I check, um, I basically go through the hair database and like go through Poppet's um, Tumblr to see what Poppet V2 um, hairs she or they um, reblog. And then if I find anything nice, I end up downloading it. But I can check, um, I think I can check in the mirror what it's called. I forget what it's called off the top of my head. But I do very much like. Timothy's hair. <laughs> I use peppermint ginger. Peppermint ginger is very nice as well. The hair database is so overwhelming to me, but I should probably use it to commit to one specific hairstyle. I, um, before I started, like when I was, um, loading up, uh, well, just downloading a bunch of stuff for my Uber hood, um, I went through the whole hair database just just one whole time and I feel like I want to do it again just to see if there's any new things that's been added in Poppet's hair system. I like Poppet's colours. I don't mind about the texture so much but uh, Poppet's hair colours I do want to kind of stick to in my game. So that's why you'll see I'll have like a few um, clay hairs here and there. Oh no. Oh no, 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 I'm saving. Oh no, Jason, no! Jason, no, please. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. Adam Driver voice, good soup. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's hope that uh, all fixes up. I'm not going. Oh my god! Please don't crash, game. <laughs> Please don't crash. Thank you for the hydrate, Mr. Phantom. Oh my god, this is actually terrifying.
Very nice. Very nice. Do you want to show stream? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My brother's showing me his epic costume for his athletics day that they did at school today. He's got like, basically, their house mascot is um, a, like a buzzy bee. Also, the pink suit is a uh, interesting. What if I went to the neighborhood screen and loaded back in? Maybe. <laughs> Just leave the lot and come back. It happened to me. Yeah, I'm thinking of doing that. Worst case scenario, I am. Um, worst case scenario, I reload the game. Isn't he year 12 or 13? Yeah, he's year 13. It's his last year of high school. <laughs> Double C. <laughs> um, but yeah, his, his like, their mascot is like a buzzy bee. So he's got like buzzy bee um, themed suspenders on and buzzy bee socks on, which are quite funny. It's quite interesting seeing him walk into, into my room just now. <laughs> Please don't crash. Please don't crash. You got this game. Watch spells on a curve just be all pink soup. Oh, thank heaven. Thank heaven. Okay, I'm going to load it back up again. What is this? This is like... On Halloween, I'm just going to dress up as pink soup, I think. If I do... A Halloween stream I am dressing up as pink soup because I think that's the most terrifying thing that I often see in my game <laughs> mine was a dog which is <laughs> it's just it's just uh, flashing though right sometimes pink flashing often leads to my game crashing um, if there's a if there's too much but it seems to be okay right now seems to be okay okay it seems to be fine and Timothy is still out with the community time lot mod which is good just how all should be oh it, it'd be flashing though right if you're going to do that for Halloween I think I might have to have flashing like lights in the background like you know strobe lights to uh, add to the thing but I don't know how I'm gonna have a flashing co costume oh <laughs> uh, I then again I've got seven months to plan for it so we'll see what I can come up with I guess <laughs> that should take a shot every time this pink soup no no I should not <laughs> no I don't even have alcohol right now <laughs> god that just reminds me um on my friend Nano Attack O2's um, stream on Sunday, um, I was a part of a D&D stream with um, him and my friends on Sunday. Uh, the VOD is up on an, on his VODs channel if you want to check it out. Um, it's going to be every second Sunday. But basically, he has a channel point redemption where, which can be redeemed once every half hour where you can use a thousand channel points to get him to take a shot. And we got him to do like six or seven shots during that D&D stream and it was so funny. It was actually hilarious. I will do a fireball shot so it looks like I need to do it. Oh my god. That's hilarious. You like the rain. Well that is good for you. Oh, we have, we have food. We are not starving. Oh. Can we ask you to serve the dinner, please? We are rather influential for a child. When is when do you age up? Three days. So on the second day of the next round. Okay. Um, influencer, serve meal, please. Please, serve a meal. Please, there's chef salad right there. You don't, you don't need to make something new. Okay, I guess I'm serving something new. Yeah. 
How many days do you play with each family again? I'm not sure if you told me. I play for uh, four days. Just um, so I can keep everything in line with my university rounds. I might extend it. I might not. I really... Um, but right now I'm thinking of keeping just four days. But it goes by so quickly. Oh my god, she started making food, and now because there wasn't any counter space, she stopped. Um, well, go eat some chips, I guess, Sally. She gets up at 2 a.m. in the middle of the night to go get chips out of the fridge. Also, um, is it just me or do I, I mean, wasn't it seven days when you started out? Uh, no, it's just four, but I want, I was thinking about extending it to seven because I felt like I didn't, um, spend enough time with the family, but I feel like if I change it to seven, I'm going to have to do a lot more maintenance with my university rounds than I do currently. So yeah. I think I told you mine. Yeah, round one, one day. Round two, two days. Round three, three days. Round four, four days. And then back to three days. Yeah. I thought Don was seven. No, he was only four. We did a lot with him, though, in those four days. It was actually insane. Oh my god. Um. Oh, you're gonna look through the. Oh my god, you put down a little stool to look through the telescope. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> oh yeah, but what I was saying before is like, am I the only one that feels uncomfortable by the fact that they get like packets of chips out of the fridge? Because those chips are going to be cold. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. Like, it makes more sense to keep your chips in like a pantry or something. Or a, a cupboard than the fridge. <laughs> I feel like cold chips are usually stale in my experience. Yeah, they are. Then again, um, nothing really beats... Uh, what my family do with our chips and stuff and like our biscuits and things basically we don't have a pantry we don't have the room we do have cupboards like along the ceiling where we keep some tins of food and stuff like that but uh where we keep our pantry food is in our dishwasher <laughs> We don't use the dishwasher, by the way, for washing dishes. We just wash our dishes by hand. But we treat our dishwasher as if it's a pantry, <laughs> but we just never turn it on. It's a bit weird. All my friends say it's weird, but uh, it's just something that just seems to be a thing I've grown up with. Pantry equals dishwasher. No, sorry. Dishwasher equals pantry. Other way around. <laughs> it saves water. <laughs> how cool it would be if you could click on a cabinet slash counter to get a snack like cookies or chips yeah that would be a very cool mod actually oh my god I'm getting an itchy nose <laughs> okay well welcome back Timothy can you um resume cooking whatever the nanny refused to finish cooking would mean a lot Sally's gained a logic skill point. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate how allergies make you feel like you want to tear your nose off your face. Yeah, for real. <laughs> oh my god. I'm like allergic to a lot of things as well. But I won't like, it's not going to kill me. It's just I have eczema and so I end up getting flare-ups and hay fever whenever my allergies go insane. So I'm not going to die. I'm just going to have an unpleasant time for a period of 
my life. <laughs> AKA probably like half an hour. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay, we have pork chops. And you didn't burn it. Good job, um, Timothy. That window is bugging me. This one, yeah. It's also bugging me too. I do like this. I do like these windows though. I think they're very nice windows. But I wish they put a different window here or like just didn't put a counter there. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, you should probably tell your your daughter you're getting married. Um, give her a hug. Chat. <laughs> Talk to your your daughter. Um, we can impart knowledge. No, we're not doing that. I guess. Where's the encourage? Encourage to be outgoing. <laughs> How did the pork chops go bad that quickly? I guess it's because of the nanny leaving them out before you even, um, before I even cooked them properly. Well, that sucks. I'm thinking of downloading the black menu UI. Do it. Highly recommend. <laughs> Waited 20 minutes for the video to export just to say I don't have enough disk space. <laughs> oh no, that's too relatable. See, I want to rip my nose off my face regardless of allergies. No, don't do that, Phantom. That will um ruin your poor face. Your face is amazing, Mr. Phantom. Oh, what are you doing? You're encouraging. Encourage. Okay, cool. How encourage encouraged? How outgoing are you? Oh yeah, pretty pretty outgoing. You have very similar personality to your dad, except your dad is less active than you. Yeah, I will save my game right now actually. <laughs> stop <laughs> stop my piercing from being itchy, please. Okay. Uh, Phantom's nose piercing, can you please stop being annoying to Phantom? Please? Thank you. <laughs> it feels so silly. Okay. So we've got some people that are going to be going to work all day. I have the auto save. I don't press yes though. <laughs> I don't a lot of the time. Um, but sometimes I'm like, you know, I think this would be good, a uh, pretty good idea if I did. Yeah, I I do feel that. I'll only um. Now it's just sore. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I I press yes just in times where I'm like, okay, something important's happened, um, or. Um, I'm just scared that my game's going to crash. Okay, we got people to go to work. What kind of car do you have to go to work in? Oh, not too. <gasps> Leard, Leard's going for a walk with Porthos. I love it. Leard and Porthos. By the way, Leard McGregor and Sid Rosalind got married and they're cute as hell. I love them together. They're too cute. <laughs> Often press no then press save. <laughs> okay, going to work. We've got bills. Lovely. We got pollination technician number nine out here. Oh yeah, I don't know how many of you guys have seen my my pollination tech number nine, but uh, I gave him some big changes because um, 
if Jenny did get pregnant, I did not want um, an ugly child. <laughs> I need to download the multiple um, pollination technician uh, mod still though. So... Uh, I take it the black menu UI is on Mod The Sims. I found it on Tumblr. Um, it, it was the Starship UI. You gave him a 7 inch. <laughs> Fent! <laughs> Which is really long for a big time. <laughs> Phantom! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so we're on the last day. Add time! Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, um. Okay, you're home. Uh, you need to use the bathroom. Have a shower. And probably have a nap. Just a bit of a nap. You want to talk to your dad. You want to play catch. You want to talk to a relative. Okay. <laughs> probably help your dad clean up. Or uh, get the nanny to do it. Yeah, that works as well, I guess. Hi stranger, I thought you might have been abducted by aliens or something since I never hear from you anymore. Oh, we've got- oh yeah, I forgot that uh, Timothy got a raise. He got a raise, so now he's getting paid 1029 per uh, day. Oh, hello Regan. T well, talk to your dad, I guess. And you want to do your homework. You should probably have a nap first, Sally. You won't, you've been up since 1am. Um, you also probably need a nap. Uh, Timothy. You want to invite someone over? Um, who? You want to go visit Etsu? Why don't you ever get the want to visit Vivian? <laughs> so interesting, this game. We could invite over Krista, but he's really tired. I'm just gonna have him. Uh oh. Saving again! Pink soup in the shower! <laughs> My gosh. You know what game I don't get pink soup in? Raft! <laughs> Which we are going to be playing in less than 10 minutes? Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Okay. Slightly terrified. But feeling okay. Hey, at least I'm not going to lose all my progress from the last day of the round. Like I did with the Otimus family, where I had to redo their entire day. <laughs> I'm going to sit back in my chair while you play some Sims 2 and put in my black menu UI and see what it looks like in my game. So I can... All good, Tom. That reminds me, I still need to put up my stream schedule in my server. Oh my god. Look at him in the <laughs> pink. Okay. Andrew Martin's outside. It'd be really nice if the game didn't crash. Gone are all caps outside? Okay, okay. 
um, kind of pink souping away, phasing, like a phase blade. Um, if all goes well, we are probably going to finish up the round soon, but I kind of want to... Okay, I'm going to lock in for him to get a skill point. Where are you, Vivian? Go give her a hug. Oh my god, Pink Soup, you're terrifying. I'm going to save like every three hours. <laughs> Oh my god. You know, I wasn't um I wasn't feeling too great before this stream started. I was kinda having a bit of a, a bad day before the stream started, but I'm feeling a bit better now. So thank you, chat. <laughs> there we go. Oh my Um, yeah, she's going back to her apartment. Knock on door, knock on door, knock on door, knock on door. Oh, lovely stuff. Beautiful, even. Uh, give her a squeeze. Nat, pause your game. What am I doing? Why am I pausing my game? Discord tells me when your game is paused or not. Yes, yes. I'm uh I've got the I'm using the RPC launcher by Lazy Duchess. Um and so it's got the Discord uh built in function where you can see what family I'm playing with and um how much money they have, what neighborhood I'm in, if I'm paused or not, what sim I have selected, it's it's Chef's kiss. Um, Pink Soup is actually terrifying me though. I kind of want to have the Muhu, but I don't think I should. Okay, you'll go to bed. That's a good choice. That is a pretty good choice, Timothy. Uh, Sally's up at 10 p.m. Oh boy. Um, okay. Do your homework, Sally. I was about to say something mean. <laughs> God damn it. Her feet look like socks. They look like, like, you know, well, I don't know how many of you have played The Sims 3, but uh, The Sims 3 has, um, for kids, there's a funny, uh, like, muscle shirt that your kids can wear, um, when they go swimming or when they for their athletic wear and these socks these socks these her feet with the pink soup looking like this just look like feet socks so <laughs> yeah. they just look like socks to look like feet for your feet but that is also pointless <laughs> I'm glad you're feeling better now. I am listening to you on my headphones as I lay in, my, uh, as I lay in bed and it's making me feel better too. Oh, I'm so glad I could do that. <laughs> I know that shirt, ad adults get it too. Yeah, it's, it's hilarious. But yeah, um, just the whole off topic thing that these pink soup is making her feet look like socks. Oh, lovely. You did your homework. Very nice work. Watch a kid's movie, I guess, until 3am. I'm going to save again, just in case. You can never be too sure. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, it's kind of, um, it's kind of insane how far we've come in this Uberhood, considering I started streaming in the middle of November last year and you know quickly had affiliate about a month later which was insane um and then I and that's when I started this uberhood when I started streaming um and we're already up to the sixth subhood out of eight in this uberhood 
I feel like we've made so much progress. <laughs> so, and then it's been so much fun, especially with all you guys there, um, giving me some chaotic ideas and chaotic baby names like uh, Spud and Malachite. You know, it's um, it's definitely made the gameplay interesting. <laughs> And, you know, eventually we're going to have no cap and that's cap, um, born from Goneril. <laughs> so, can't wait. All this pink soup is actually terrifying me. It seems that it's only Timothy and Sally experiencing it, though. Not anything else. Hello! Oh my god, what an interesting name you have. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. <laughs> what a very interesting name you have. <laughs> oh, what dog is this? What the dog doing? Allegra. You have a very skinny tail, Allegra. Well, on the bright side, it does seem that Sally is getting better at the piano. She's playing something not terrible. Nice tea posing mod, lol. I really wish I could say it was a mod. It's, um, I think it's more that I just have too many mods. <laughs> but I think it's also a graphics card issue, apparently. Um, I'm about to finish up with The Sims, though before we pop on over to Raft, which is honestly coming right about on time, honestly. Uh, and I'm gonna save it there. Before the game crashes and Pink Soup is like, hey, we're gonna infect your game. <laughs> no, it doesn't do that. Pink Soup doesn't do that. But, um, so that's it for the Riley household. As I say every time when I finish playing a family, um, no idea when I'm going to come back to them because these rounds take so long to get through the families and the neighborhoods. And yeah, but um, we got some stuff done. You know, uh, Timothy is engaged to Vivian. Uh, Sally's going to private school and she's best friends with Desdemona Cap. Um, and then we're going to get Vivian and Timothy married when we play Vivian um, next week. And yeah, I mean, it is rough time now. Lol. Yeah, I know. I know. It's rough time. It's rough time. But yeah, that's it for the Sims part of the stream um, for today. Because I was just playing today just so we could still get our Sims 2 fix for the week. Um, since I'm going to a concert on Saturday. <laughs> I'm very excited for that concert, by the way. 